Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 7, The Dragon and the Wolf. Like, who could die and not hurt your feelings that bad? Who could die and not hurt my feelings that bad? Mm -hmm. Man, that's a setup question. You know I can't answer that. People get mad at me. Oh. There's no, maybe you're on. I mean, I don't know. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's my answer. But what character that, like, the consensus is that I'm supposed to like? I don't know, maybe Theon. To be honest, you don't really care. I mean, I would care. Would I don't want to see feelings. him, you know. I, yeah, but I guess I'd rather see it be him than like John or somebody or Davos or something. Right. Or oh my hound. god. I don't know. Even though I shouldn't like the Hound, I kind of like the Hound more. I'm even at the point if Tormund died, it would really suck for me. That's so cool that we're finally at Eastwatch. We've been hearing about it for so long. Guys, let me know which place do you think looks the coolest in this intro. What do you think? I'm I'm always gonna say Winterfell for some reason because I really like the tree when it pops up. I like the wall. Oh yeah, I like the wall too. Let's go, finally. It feels like- Oh, look at that. Minutes. That's so cool. Great, bleh. Grey Worm was fire, dude. Look at his army, man. What you gonna do, James? That was one of the best shots in this entire series. That was nice, wasn't it? That was crazy. It? it couldn't have picked a better character to pioneer it either, Bron. <laughs> that was a bowl of round, did you see that? Mm -hmm. Oil. Perch, my lord. How many barrels? 500, my lord. Get 500 more. They're only here to show them the... I enjoy it when they call me my lord. The ice zombie, right? If yeah. You lived that long, you wouldn't find me fighting in an army if I had... <laughs> What's left to fight for? <laughs> gold? I spend my life around soldiers. What do you think they spend that gold on? Family. Your brother has chosen to side with the... Yes. It's always been a How are you going to edit that? <laughs> I don't know, man. Jamie's probably has PTSD when they pull up because they just whoop his butt. Dang, her army's so synchronized looking, coming in all fire. I think if I was the Lannisters, I'd just go take the Knessos. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Y'all can have this. <laughs> on and on we'd go, just in a big circle. <laughs> this is so sick. It's insane to just see how history plays out. Like, Jamie was just doing some ancestral activities, you know. <laughs> and then boom, here we are. Look at Varys looking freaking sick. Never thought I'd say that. How many people live here? A million, give or take. There's more people than the entire north crammed into that. <laughs> Why would anyone want to live that way? There's more work in the city, and the brothels are far superior. The hound down there looking for some chickens. <laughs> He's still kicking, mate. Yeah, I'd be concerned that warm weather would kill him. I know, then what, it, what happens when you pull up with a dead thing? They were like fake. Why isn't she with them? I'm afraid Michelle I don't aliens. Know, Your Grace. No one has seen her. They're on their way to the Dragon Pit now. Including our brother? Yes, Your Grace. Offended. If anything goes wrong, kill the silver haired bitch first. <laughs> then our brother. Then the bastard who calls himself king. The rest of them you can kill in any order you see fit. It's time for us to meet our guests. Hey, so yes, Maya. Let's go. Why did they build it? Dragons don't understand the difference between what is theirs and what isn't. Land, livestock children letting them roam free around the city was a problem I imagine it was a sad joke at the end an entire arena for a few sickly creatures smaller than dogs but in the beginning when it was home to Larry and the dread it must have been the most dangerous place in the world oh so they got sickly and little dog like maybe it still is oh, oh besties man. besties about to face off welcome my lords your friends arrived before you did. I've been sent to escort you all to the meeting. Aw, I can't wait for this. I feel like something might go wrong, though. Oh, when Pod sees tear. Oh. Pleasant surprise in an unpleasant situation. I never thought I'd see you again, my lord. Supporting the enemy, no less. Hard to blame you. Cersei will, anyway. <laughs> True. I'm glad you're alive. Come on. You too, Pod. You can suck his magic later. <laughs> What's in there? Fuck off. <laughs> He's such a joy. Love him. <laughs> Awkward. Dead. Not yet. I was only trying to protect her. You and me both. She's alive, are you? Where? They both did a good job, though. I know, co-parenting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically, yeah, they kind of did. <laughs> you are here. Tormund's going to get me. Or Tormund. the one that gets in your way. It won't be me. <laughs> here we are. Oh, that was sweet. That little moment. Heroes of Blackwater Bay. Change place for a reunion. It is, my lord. Don't think I'm anyone's lord anymore, Podrick. Save the titles for Sir Braun of the Blackwater. Sure your new queen will be happy to restore yours if she ends up on the throne? Been thinking about our new queen? Perhaps you've been reconsidering your allegiances. Remember my offer. Whatever they're paying you, I'll pay double. 
Wow. That would be <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, exactly. Don't you worry about me. I'm doing all right. Helping me to arrange this meeting wasn't exactly looking after yourself, was it? You yeah, you're part of the system risk. now. Mm -hmm. I put yourself at risk. It's your head Queen Cersei's offered a bag of gold for us, not mine. <laughs> now, thanks to me, she's got two traitors' heads coming right through her door. She can lop them both off as soon as she gets tired of the clever words that pour out their piles. It's good to see you again. Because y'all are besties, Loki. Yeah, you too. Yeah, I miss them together for yeah, real. Yeah, their banter but is so good. In when he, when he like took Jamie down to that little pier to teach him or whatever it was to teach him how to swing that mm -hmm. sword. Anyone touches it? I, I never knew that was gonna be such a I'll good dynamic in the show. Yeah, because they're besties now too. They're such a good pair. <laughs> Ooh, he's gonna have to see Cersei. Tyrion looks so cool. Like, he's peeking right now. I know this is such a homecoming for him, kind of in a way. And Varys. Oh yeah, John's never been here. Mm -mm. I never even thought of that. That's why he was so shocked when he saw it earlier, talking about the population density and stuff. Yeah, that's me when I went to New York City for the first time. Daenerys is about to pull up crazy. I know, I Where's can't she wait. At? Wherever Drogon is. Jorah's outfit, though. Nice. I left this shit city because I didn't want to die in it. Am I going to die in this shit city? You might. This is all your idea. It was every bad idea some bounce to come by. And some Clegane to help them see it through. Right, I was thinking she could have wildfired them. I mean, yeah, it could easily be checkmate, but she's seen one of her one of her kids got killed, so it's a whole different mindset now. She'll deal with Cersei later. She's like looking all <laughs> Look at him though. <laughs> Theon, don't be holding your head up. Didn't he jump off a boat last time you saw mm -hmm. him? Remember me? Yeah, you do. You're even fler than I am now. What do they do to you? Lots. Doesn't matter. It's not how it ends for you, brother. You know who's coming for you. You've always known. I hope we get to see the finality of that. Who, the Lord of the Light's coming for him? I think you're playing, but he's just saying, eventually I'm going to kill you, bro. Is that not the vibe you got? No, he can see into the fire. Where is she? She'll be here soon. Didn't travel with you. No. There it is. Coming to the dragon pits. You know how Cersei's so like, we'll just fight, we'll just fight. She'll have a whole different attitude when she sees this dragon. Mm-hmm. What did she call him in the season? She said like snooks and snarls about the <laughs> some weird thing. I think the best parts of, of this series has been Cersei just having those outbursts where she calls like some other girl something terrible. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she was talking about uh, the White Walkers. Yeah, yeah, yes. The, the snooks and snarls, yeah. Something like that. Let's go. They were saying Daenerys Stormborn, first of her name, A plus entrance. That was crazy, dude. What in the world? Oh. We've been here for some time. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> it was like three minutes. We are all facing a unique... Leon! I have your sister. Bro, this is turning into a free-for-all. I'll kill her. I think we ought to begin with larger concerns. Then why are you talking? <laughs> You're the smallest concern here. Someone needs to slap him. Do you remember when we discussed dwarf jokes? This wasn't even good. He explained it at the end. Never explained it. Always ruins it. I don't even let your kind live in the Iron Islands, you know. I kill you at birth. Perhaps you ought to sit down. Why? Sit down or leave. Ooh. That was so childish. I know. Grow up. We are a group of people who do not like one another. This recent demonstration has shown. <laughs> we have suffered at each other's hands. We have lost people we love at each other's hands. We are entirely capable of waging war against each other without meeting face to face. So instead we should settle our differences and live together in harmony for the rest of our days. We all know that will never happen. Then why are we here? The this evidence. isn't about living in harmony. It's just about living. The same thing is coming for all of us. A general you can't negotiate with. An army that doesn't leave corpses behind on the battlefield. Lord battlefield. tells me a million people live in this city. They're about to become a million more soldiers in the army of the dead. I imagine for most of them it would be an improvement. <laughs> oh, sirs. I don't think it's serious at all. I think it's another bad joke. If my brother Jamie has informed me correctly, you're asking me for a truce. Yes, that's all. That's all. She's so arrogant. Pull back my armies and stand down while you go on your monster hunt. <laughs> or while you solidify and expand your position. Hard for me to know which it is. With my armies pulled back. Until you return and march on my capital with four times the men. Your capital will be safe until the northern threat is dealt with. You have my word. The word of a would-be usurper. There is no conversation <laughs> that will erase the last 50 years. We have something to show you. Ooh. Here we go. They brought that thing up, too. Oh, my gosh. Is it going to just run out or something? I hope it's still alive. He's even looking a little scared, so, like... <gasps> oh my god yes 
<gasps> Relentless boy. Now I'm a believer. I believe, I believe, I believe. <laughs> Wait, what Nora? Look at Kyburn being all interested. I know, he's like, interesting. He's like, let me take this. She looks shook about that, but she didn't seem very sh shaken up about that dragon, did she? No. I'd have feared that dragon a little bit more. You're right, Kyburn's like, what in the? Remarkable. <laughs> this the presentation. <laughs> Do you see this we presentation? Them by burning them. And we can destroy them with dragon glass. Let's go. If we don't win this fight, then that is the fate of every person in the world. Thursday, you look great like that. So what do you say, Cerse? There is only one war that matters, the Great War, and it is here. I didn't believe it until I saw them. I saw them all. How many? 100,000 at least. <laughs> what if Euron just turns into like a sensible guy now? Because he's seen it. Can they swim? No. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I'm taking the Iron Fleet back to the Iron Islands. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh. I've been around the world. I've seen everything, things you couldn't imagine. And this, this is the only thing I've ever seen that terrifies me. Dang. I'm going back to my island. You should go back to yours. When winter's over, we'll be the only ones left alive. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, ugh. Dan's like, yeah, I told y'all my uncle sucks. My sleazy uncle. He's right to be afraid and a coward to run. The crown accepts your truth. I didn't think she would do it. Until the dead are defeated, they are the true enemy. Look at Varys. He's elated back there. And he's like, huh? We thought it would be harder than this. In return, the king Well, it was pretty hard. They had to go get the thing. He will remain in the north where he belongs. He will not take up arms against the Lannisters. He will not choose sides. Just the king in the north, not me. <laughs> I would never ask it of you. You would never agree to it. And if you did, I would trust you even less than I do now. I know Ned Stark's son will be true to his word. I don't know, man. Times are changing, Cersei. <laughs> That's tough, man. I am true to my word, or I try to be. That is why I cannot give you what you ask. Yeah, because he gave his... I cannot serve two oh, queens. Oh, he's loyal, boy. And I've already pledged myself to Queen Daenerys of House Targaryen. Yeah, you should have thought about that before you cut his damn dad's head off. Right. Davos is like, um, I don't remember that time. Then there is nothing left to discuss. The dead will come north first. Enjoy dealing with them. We will deal with whatever is left of you. It don't work that way. Oh, sugar bear. Sir Jamie. She's going to look great with blue see. eyes. I imagine the next time we'll be across the battlefield. We both saw what just happened. We both saw that thing. Yes. And I'm not John should have just said, more. yeah, sure. Whatever you say. I'm loyal to the queen and you're loyal to like the sons and adult brothers. Oh, fuck loyalty. Fuck loyalty. This goes beyond houses and honor and oaths. Talk to the queen. <laughs> Tell her what? Right, tell her what? Wish I hadn't done that. I'm grateful for your loyalty, but my dragon died so that we could be here. If it's all for nothing, then he died for nothing. I know. I'm pleased you bent the knee to our queen. I would have advised it, had you asked. But have you ever considered learning how to lie every now and then? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's bit. honorable. <laughs> That's Ned's son. I'm not swear an oath I can't uphold. Talk about my father if you want. Tell me that's the attitude that got him killed. But when enough people make false promises, words stop meaning anything. Mm. Then there are no more answers, only better and better lies. And lies won't help us in this fight. That is indeed a problem. The more immediate problem is that we're fucked. <laughs> Any ideas or yeah, Johnny, you talking about your butt right now. Yes. Just one more lie, dude. Just one only more. One. Everyone stays here and I go and talk to my sister. Oh, boy. Don't do it. I didn't come all this way to have my hand murdered. I don't want Cersei to murder me either. I could have stayed in my cell and saved a great deal of trouble. We all go home and we're right back where we started. Oh my goodness, good luck with Cersei. But in a way, I can't blame her. She doesn't really just want to roll over and die. And in her mind, it's like she's a, like, oh, you want me to help protect men and then you're just gonna turn around and kill yeah, me. Yeah, like with 4,000 times the army. I, I get her point, but you know, her only ally just dipped on her. What can she really do right now? I love how his helmet is intertwined, just like him and his brother. Mm -hmm. Well, he's intertwined with a lot of things, actually. You spoke with her? I her. Until she kicked me out. She thinks I was an idiot to trust you. A lot of people seem to think that, actually. I'm about to step into a room with the most murderous woman in the world who's already tried to kill me twice. That I know of. <laughs> who's an idiot? I suppose we should say goodbye, one idiot to another. Hug it out, hug it out. That's a cool little area right there, man. I know. This is the last of the Lannisters all right here. What a complicated bunch. Mm-hmm. 
Don't close the door. I shouldn't be surprised. I suppose she's your kind of woman. A foreign whore who doesn't know her place. <laughs> foreign whore you can't abduct, beat, or intimidate. That must be difficult for you. So you bring her here with her pet northerner whom you've convinced to bow down before I her. I didn't know that. And now you've that. got them both working towards the same goal. A goal you've worked towards your entire life. Cersei, I didn't the know. The destruction of this family. I am the one preventing that from happening. Daenerys didn't want to debate and negotiate. She didn't want to bring you words. She wanted to bring you fire and blood until I advised her otherwise. I don't want to destroy our family. I never have. You killed our father. After he sentenced me to death for a crime I didn't commit. Yes, I killed him. Hate me for it if you want. I hate myself for it in spite of what he was. In spite of what he did to me. Oh, poor Dang, that's so God. complicated. I know. If Papa was mean to you, do you have any idea what you did when you fired that crossbow? You left us open. You may not have killed Joffrey, but you killed Marcella. You killed Tommen. No one would have touched them if father was here. No one would have dared. I've never been more sorry about anything. I will I, not hear it not from I, you. I will not fair, hear it! You love your family, and I have destroyed it. I will always be a threat. So put an end to me. If it weren't for me, you'd have a mother. If it weren't for me, you'd have a father. If it weren't for me, you'd have two beautiful children. I've thought about killing you more times than I can count. Do it! Say the word. Wow. Maybe she should. Like from her perspective. No, because then that would start. Then Daenerys will attack her for real right then with a dragon. Well, yeah, but I guess what I'm saying is Cersei doesn't really have a chance. Like she's lost. I don't know. It's just hard, man, because I feel like ultimately Tyrion is going to be her undoing. He didn't even care if poison was in that or not. <laughs> oh, was he pouring her one? I am more sorry about the children than you could ever know. I will not. I don't care. I love them. Doesn't matter. Your love doesn't matter. Your feelings don't matter. I don't care why you did what you did. I only care what it cost us. It cost us our future. If there's no future, then why are we here? Why did you allow me to come? Not to help my enemies collaborate in my destruction. Yes, no, not what you hoped for, but you must have hoped for something. What did you hope for? To make Jon Snow submit to your queen? Mm, not like this. But eventually you want everyone to bend the knee to her? Yes. Why? Because I think she will make the world a better place. You said she'd destroy King's Landing. You did say that. She knows herself. She chose an advisor who would check her worst impulses instead of feeding them. That's the difference between you. <laughs> I don't care about checking my worst impulses. I don't care about making the world a better place. Hang the world. So maybe she is that pregnant. Thing you dragged here. I know what it is. I know what it means. And when it came at me, I didn't think about the world. Not at all. As soon as it opened its mouth, the world disappeared for me right down its black throat. All I could think about was keeping those gnashing teeth away from the ones who matter most, away from my family. Maybe you're on Greyjoy. had the right idea. Get on a boat. Take those who matter. You're pregnant. Yeah, she wasn't drinking the wine. I did notice that. That's going to make it harder for Tyrion if it comes down to it. Because he's already killed two of her children. Well, killed. It's technically. Right. You know. No one's less happy about this than I am. I respect what you did. Wish you hadn't done it, but I respect it. This place was the beginning of the end for my family. Sadrizas Buzdari Oskostaur. A dragon is not a slave. They were terrifying. Extraordinary. They filled people with wonder and awe. And we locked them in here. They wasted away. We grew small. And we grew small as well. Dang. We weren't extraordinary without them. We were just like everyone else. It's such a small little jaw on it. Uh-huh. You're not like everyone else. And your family hasn't seen its end. You're still here. I can't have children. Who told you that? The witch who murdered my husband. Has it occurred to you she might not have been a reliable source of information? <laughs> you were right from the beginning. If I trusted you, everything would be different. So what now? I can't forget what I saw north of the wall. And I can't pretend that Cersei won't take back half the country the moment I march north. It appears Tyrion's assessment was correct. We're fucked. And they just smile about it. It's hard for me to tell who's in a power position and who's not. Yeah, I guess everyone's kind of screwed, right? But she's being pretty vulnerable to John, Daenerys. You know, she has this, like, mentality and she's not doing it to him. Yeah, because she likes him because that's her family. She don't know that. I told you, it's, <clears> in, the, it's in the bones. But we have returned from recess. Maybe, hopefully, Cersei got some damn food. Mm -hmm. Just feeling a little less cranky. My armies will not stand down. I will not pull them back to the capital. I will march them north to fight alongside you in the Great War. What? The darkness is coming for us all. We will face it together. And when the Great War is over, perhaps you'll remember I chose to help. No promises or assurances from any of you. Wow. AKA, please don't char me up. She's gonna freaking barbecue her. All of them. 
I felt like that's too good to be true, though. Yeah, I feel like the minute the last White Walker falls down, those swords are going to turn immediately on Daenerys. They're like... Mm -hmm. They're going to have a victory. Stab, stab. Perhaps John tried to send word earlier. No. This is the way he is. The way he's always been. He sucks at texting back. <laughs> this is his writing. His signature. He pledged to fight for Daenerys Targaryen. He's bent the knee. I've heard gossip. It's the Dragon Queen. It's quite beautiful. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> John is young and unmarried. Daenerys is young and unmarried. An alliance makes sense. Together they'd be difficult to defeat. He was named King of the North. He can be unnamed. Trickster. Even if I wanted to, Arya would never go along. She always loved John far more than she ever loved me, and she'd kill anyone who betrayed her family. Would Arya really murder her own sister? Do you know what she is now? Do you know what the faceless men are? They worship the god of death, I believe. I never trust godly men. They're killers, and Arya was one of them. You know her far better than I ever could. Sometimes, when I try to understand a person's motives, I play a little game. Of course you do. I assume the worst. What's the worst reason they could possibly have for saying what they say and doing what they do? Yeah, well, what about you, though? And I ask myself, how well does that reason explain what they say and what they do? So he's the inventor of anxiety, basically. Tell me, what's the worst thing she could want? She could want me dead because she thinks I wronged my family. Why did you come to Winterfell? To kill me for marrying our enemies and betraying my family. Why did you unearth the letter Cersei made you write? To provide proof of my betrayals. To provide justification after she murders me. And after she murders you, what does she become? The Lady of the North. Lady of Winterfell. But man, you gotta know better than that. She's never wanted to be the Lady of Winterfell. She didn't that care doesn't about make that. Sense. She was talking, telling you just the other episode how she was shooting an arrow over and over because she didn't want to do all that. Hopefully she's smart enough to catch on to that. They'll arrive at Winterfell within the fortnight. And the Unsullied? We can sail with them to White Harbor, meet the Dothraki here on the King's Road, then ride together to Winterfell. Perhaps you should fly to Winterfell, Your Grace. You have many enemies in the north. All it takes is one angry man with a crossbow. He'll see your silver hair on the King's Road and know that one well-placed boat will make him a hero. The man who killed the Conqueror. It's your decision, Your Grace. But if we're going to be allies in this war, it's important for the northerners to see us as allies. If we sail to White Harbor together, I think it sends a better message. I've not come to conquer the north. I'm coming to save the north. We sail together. Yeah, she's all about some John right now, isn't she? Yeah. All the pen and Look the at cure. Jorah, he's like, hmm. I know Jorah's gonna be left out. Did I speak with you? Sorry, I butchered, butchered your family and destroyed your home. What you did in King's Landing, what you said. You could have lied to Cersei about bending the knee to Daenerys. You risked everything to tell an enemy the truth. We went down there to make peace, and it seems to me we need to be honest with each other if we're gonna fight together. You've always known what was right. Even when we were all young and stupid, you always knew it's always the right step. It's not. It may seem that way from the outside, but I promise you, it's not true. I've done plenty of things that I regret. Not compared to me, you haven't. No, not compared to you. I always wanted to do the right thing, be the right kind of person, but never knew what that meant. It always seemed like that, like there was an impossible choice I had to make, Stark or Greyjoy. Our father was more of a father to you than yours ever was. He was. And you betrayed him. Betrayed his memory. I did. He never lost him. He's a part of you. Just like he's a part of me. From the things I've done. It's not my place to forgive you for all of it. But what I can forgive, I do. Oh. You don't need to choose. You're a great joy. And you're a star. Oh. Man, I would almost cry. That was pretty good, wasn't it? And what's his name? Alfie Allen? Is that his name? That man can act his ass off right there, man. I know I give the character hell, but... Him as a human? I was Ramsay's prison. Incredible. Yara tried to save me. She's the only one who tried to save me. You need to go save her. She needs me now. So why are you still talking to me? Hey. Did you love that or what? Oh, that was so good. That was so good. John. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to start fighting somebody, ain't he? Just like season, was it season one or two? Like, who's the biggest guy here? That guy, Dogmar, basically told him... All to of do us this. chose to follow Yara. We left the Iron Islands for Yara. You would never leave one of us behind. We're not leaving her behind. Your sister's dead. She's not dead. She's dead. Even if Euron hasn't cut her throat yet, she's dead. She's our queen. She's your sister, and you left her to die. I did. 
I ran from my uncle. I was a coward. They say the dead can't swim. We're gonna stay at least, find a nice quiet island, kill all the men, and take their wives for ourselves. We're done with all that. Who says we are? Yara did. She made a pledge. We're going to find her. We're going to set her free. Slap his ass, Theon. <laughs> oh, really slap him. <laughs> Come on, Theon. Come on. Run away, little Theon. Mm-mm. It's what you do best. No. He's I just tough. want the best for him, but geez, come on, Theon. Come on. Ramsey's nose worse than this guy. Ugh. Come on, come on. Man. Stay down. Or I'll kill you. He said I can what? I can do this all day. <laughs> said stay down. Or I'll kill you. Good game plan. Let him beat you in the face until he tires out. <laughs> 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 you don't have any. <laughs> oh. That one's for Daisy, though. That was John Fury. No man alive. No man alive. <gasps> They're just like on standby. They're like, whoever no, wins, we're going to yeah. listen to. Now take his shirt. Lift him up. Carry him to the sea. What's dead and may never die. Let's go. Let's go. That was like that Spider Man movie when he fell and they Not caught him on the me. chest. For Yara. Ah! Yara. That's going to be a terrible boat ride for him. I was about to say, you better go fall out <laughs> in that water. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I love that moment for Theon, though. All of it. That whole, like, last 10 minutes for Theon. <laughs> Except for when he's getting his butt beat. Have my sister brought to the Great Hall. So let's pull out freaking war, man. Frozen fingers done got in her head. What do you think she's going to do? Banish her? What did it say in the comments? She got little fingered. Yeah. Are you sure you want to do this? It's not what I want. It's what honor demands. And what does honor demand? That I defend my family from those who would harm us. That I defend the North from those who would betray us. All right, then. Get on with it. She's so unemotional. That would hurt my feelings if my sister tried to do that to me. You stand accused of murder. You stand accused of treason. How do you answer these charges? Lord Baelish. <gasps> oh, she done flipped the script up. No way. Oh, Arya's in there smiling. She was in on it. Ooh, a courtroom. Because of Bran. Because Bran knows everything. Yeah, he probably done told him the truth. My sister asked you a question. Oh, wow. Lady Sansa, forgive me. Oh. I'm a bit confused. It's not always Which said. charges confuse you? Baelish is confused? That's sister. weird. You murdered our aunt, Lysa Arryn. You pushed her through the moon door and watched her fall. Do you deny Ooh. it? I did it to protect you. You did it to take power in the veil. Earlier, you conspired to murder John Arryn. You gave Lysa tears of lease to poison him. Do you deny it? Mm. Whatever your aunt might have told you. She asked you a question. She was a troubled woman. You had Aunt Lysa send a letter to our parents telling them it was the Lannisters who murdered John Arryn when really it was you. The conflict between the Starks and the Lannisters, it was you who started it. Do you deny it? I know of no such letter. You conspired with Cersei Lannister and Joffrey Baratheon to betray our father, Ned Stark. Thanks to your treachery, he was imprisoned and later executed on false charges of treason. Do you deny it? I deny it. None of you were there to see what happened. None of you knows the truth. You held a knife to his throat. <laughs> but the three eyes there, though. Yeah, he know he's got secrets on everybody. So. I you not to trust me. And you did do that. Mm. You told our mother this knife belonged to Tyrion Lannister, but that was another one of your lies. It was yours. Thank you, Sansa. I have known you since you were a girl. I've protected you. you protected me by selling me to the Boltons. That's where you really you messed up. Alone. I can explain everything. Sometimes when I'm trying to understand a person, <laughs> <who does, I laughs> okay. Ooh. I seem the worst. Okay, Sansa. Your own the words, man. You have for turning me against my sister. To take power. That's what you do, isn't it? That's what you've always done. Turn family against family, turn sister against sister. That's what you did to our mother and Aunt Lysa, and that's what you tried mm -hmm. to do to us. Not today, Sansa, baby. Please. I'm a slow learner. Oh my gosh. But I learn. But she learns, baby. I, myself. I deserve that. No, trauma combat is gone. Mm -mm. That's King's Landing's practices, the old practices. I am Lord Protector of the Vale, and I command you to escort me safely back to the Eyrie. I think not. Oh. Yeah, you done messed up with him, too. Yeah. Bridges and all. I beg you. Oh. I loved your mother since the time I was a boy. And yet you betrayed her. Right. 
I loved you. And you Gross. betrayed her. More than anyone. So you let Ramsay do all that to her? And yet you betrayed me. You betray everyone, bro. When you brought me back to Winterfell, you told me there's no justice in the world. Not unless we make it. Thank you for all your many lessons, Lord Baelish. <laughs> I will never forget them. Wow. He done turned Sansa into the one. <gasps> no way. That's just the end of his... Oh, you what? He survived something like that once, remember? He ain't surviving that, man. Mm -mm. No way. Guys, I'm freaking shocked right I'm now. I'm shook right now. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That in King's Landing will march north into the fortnight. I was expecting him to slither to the throne somehow. Guys, I just really want to say, man, in my mind, Littlefinger is probably the best character in the show. You know, that's really hard to say, but he's definitely up there. I think the the greatest thing about this show, the part that makes the show absolute genius, is the Littlefinger element, the element of deceit that he brought. Mm -hmm. God bless his soul, man. Uh hopefully that dude's got more mercy than I do, because Littlefinger. You got what you deserved. And yeah. I thought it was just poetic justice that Arya went over there and just so on character, just slices him up, doesn't even hesitate, just mm -hmm. steps right back in line like the soldier she is. What an end to what, like, genuinely one of the most amazing yes. characters in the history of cinema. But what a good way to kill him off, though. Like, that was that was perfect because he did nothing but destroy the sisters before them. And these sisters said, not today, baby. You were not doing this. And, you, you know, go. I know we bring up Survivor a lot, guys, because we're big fans. But you know what? That's what you call a blind side, Yeah, that's a baby. blind side and a half. And it was just so great Ooh. to see in the end he was confused. His death was confusing to him, and it all came full circle. And he realized basically what did him in was his own arrogance. You know, he said he made the he made the comment like, religious people or something like that scare him or he made something like that but if he was outside of his box a little more he would have understood what was going on with bran mm -hmm. but he he knew so much information but he didn't really understand all of it and ultimately his lack of information is what did him in right he should have knew more about bran that was awesome that honestly was crazy good job wow the north falls we fall three days the remaining forces in the westerlands will take the river road east we'll meet at lord howway's town and march together to Winterfell. My lords, I need a moment with my brother. She kind of has a North outfit on, doesn't she? What are you doing? Is that what that is? Preparing the expedition north. at the top. Expedition North. Oh, because it's coming. I always knew you were the stupidest Lannister. Starks and Targaryens have united against us, and you want to fight alongside them. Are you a traitor or an idiot? You pledged our forces to fight our common I'll enemy. I'll say whatever I need to say to ensure the survival of our The house. complete opposite of John. <laughs> I want to trust the man who murdered our father. You expect me to command our troops to fight beside foreign scum, to fight for the Dragon Queen. You saw it with your own eyes. You saw a dead man trying to kill us. And I saw it burn. If dragons can't stop them. If Dothraki and Unsullied and Northmen can't stop them, how will our armies make a difference? This isn't about noble houses. This is about the living and the dead. Then I intend to stay amongst the living. <laughs> Let the Stark boy and his new queen defend the North. We stay here where we've always been. I made a promise. Our child will rule, Mr. House. Our child will never be born if the dead come south. True. The monsters are real. The White Walkers, the dragons, the Dothraki screamers, all the frightening stories we heard when we were young, they're all real, so be it. Let the monsters kill each other. And while they battle in the north, we take back the lands that belong to us. And then what? And then we rule. When the fighting in the north is over, someone wins. You understand that, don't you? It might be their only if shot. They, <laughs> win, they march south and kill us all. If the living win, they march south and kill us all. Targaryens and Starks already want to kill us all. Most of them will die in the north. I face them in the field. We can't beat them. We can't beat their dragons. How many dragons did you see at the pit? Two. What happened to the third? For all we know, it's guarding her fleet. She came here with her dragons and her Dothraki and her Unsullied. She came here to show us all her power. No, something happened. The dragons are vulnerable. We can't beat the Dothraki. The we Night King, the numbers. We don't have the support of the other houses. No, we have something better. We have the Iron Bank. You should have listened more when father spoke about the importance of gold. Oh, I know it's boring. But I listened, I learned. High Garden brought us the most powerful army in Essos. The Golden Company. 20,000 men, horses, elephants, I believe. The Golden Company is not here. They're in Essos. How is a mercenary company in Essos going to help us? Do you really think you're on Greyjoy turn tail and sail back to the Iron Islands? Um, Do you think he abandoned the chance to marry the Queen? No one walks away from me. Well, he went to go get that army, huh? He's sailing but he didn't want to tell Daenerys. Mm -hmm. Golden Company back here to help us win the war for Westeros. You plotted with your and Greyjoy without telling me the command of your armies. 
And you conspired with Tyrion, the man who murdered our father without telling me your queen. I didn't wow. conspire with You met wow. with him in secret without my consent. That is the definition of conspiracy. I pledged to ride north. I intend to honor that pledge. And that would be treason. Treason? Disobeying your queen's command, fighting with her enemies. What would you call it? Doesn't matter what I'd call it. No one walks away from her. You, no one walks away from me. Sir, she stopped acting crazy. Let him go. Are you going to order him to kill me? I'm the only one you have left. Our children are gone. Our father is gone. It's just me and you now. There's one more yet to come. So all she truly, truly loves is her children, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what they've been trying to tell me. I've just been a sweet, sweet summer child. <laughs> no! I don't believe you. Oh, she's going to feel super betrayed. So you're telling me going into the last season of this show, Jamie is leaving her. What? So she's really about to just be all alone, man. This is my favorite shot in the whole series because I love this type of weather. The snow. Yeah, she was already wearing the I'm a little chilly outfit, girl. I think that snow hitting Jamie's hand right there really solidified it in my mind that we've come so far. And this is one of the greatest things I think we'll ever experience this show. Yeah. This is so good, man. Because winter has been coming and coming and it's here. That same feeling you guys got, I'm, I'm telling y'all. Snow in King's Landing. Get the caddy. And when we saw this in the things, I thought it was like fire ashes sometimes. But it was snow. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was like an old memory. I don't know, man. I don't know what I thought, but. It sucks we're finishing this during the summer. I wish it was almost winter outside, like going into winter. <laughs> Brand Brand. Samuel Tarly. I wasn't sure if you'd remember me. I remember everything. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Just a figure of speech, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he said. You helped us get beyond the wall. You're a good man. Oh. Thank you, but um, what happened to you beyond the wall? I became the three-eyed raven. Oh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> no one does. <laughs> I can see things that happened in the past. I can see things happening now, all over the world. Why did you come to Winterfell? He's Magneto and Professor X, I mean. He is John's Professor the one X. to lead the fight against the dead. I know he is, but he can't do it alone. So I've come here to help him. He's on his way back to Winterfell with Daenerys Targaryen. He saw this in, in a vision. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to know the truth. You gotta go tell him. The truth about what? About himself. <gasps> no one knows. No one but me. He's got a John little bit isn't of that really my father's son. He's the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and my aunt, Lyanna Stark. Wow. He was born in a tower in Dorne. His last name isn't really Snow, it's San. Oh, because he's in Dorne. He's not. Dornish bastards are named San. At the Citadel, I transcribed a High Septon's diary. He annulled Rhaegar's marriage to Elia. He wed Rhaegar and Lyanna in a secret ceremony. So he's not a bastard. Are you certain? It's what the High Septon wrote in his private diary. I don't know why he'd lie. Is this something you can see? <gasps> he's going there. Father, Smith, warrior. Mother, maiden. That was just like two bees. I am hers, and she is mine. From this day until the end of my days. Robert's rebellion was built on a lie. Lots of things are. Kidnap my aunt. He married her. He loved her. Here we go. John meeting her in the quarters. Please send John to me, Chambers. <laughs> Tyrion ain't liking that. He's concerned. And John, John's real name. His name is Ego Targaryen. Oh. You have to protect him. He's an egg. So confirmed incest. He's never been a bastard. He's the heir to the Iron Throne. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I would act more shot, but we don't put that together. I know, but it's just crazy because when he puts it like that and they're like, they have that's no idea. Complicated. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be complicated. Yeah, they have no idea. That's going to cost conflict between him and Daenerys. But I feel like when it comes out, he's going to be the same, John. He's just that guy. He's that kind of guy. He's Ned's son, really, really though. Him. It's just strange. In his own horrible way, I believe he loved me. He did the right thing. You did it. I'm just the executioner. <laughs> you pass the sentence. Ned. You're the Lady of Winterfell. Does that bother you? No. I was never going to be as good a lady as you, so I had to be something else. I never could have survived what you survived. You would have. You're the strongest person I know. I believe that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Don't get used to it. <laughs> that is the nicest thing she's ever said. strange and annoying. <laughs> in winter, we must protect ourselves, look after one another. Father, when the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. I miss him. Aww. They've grown up so much. Damn, that thing's got some snow tires on it. 
Oh no. Whatever do you see at East Watch, Bran? I'm scared to know. Because it's a finale, it's gonna make us like shocked or something. That army's there. Hey, the new Night's Watch 2.0. It's a long way down. Yeah. Crows keep telling me I'll get used to it. Oh no. They're there. Oh no. Oh no. Blow the horns. Or not. I don't know. All right, let's see how they're gonna do it. You know, they could really use a bunch of dragon glass arrows. Right. Start raining them down. That's what I'd be doing. Maybe they haven't had time to repair like that. Or fire barrels. <laughs> LOL, y'all stuck. Dragon screeching. Please don't be, please don't be the ice one. <gasps> Yo, he's got blue fire. Whoa. The army of the dead actually has a dragon, guys. Oh, when and he's, he's on it, it, he's riding that thing. Ugh. That man's really a jack of all trades. He can throw spears. He can freaking ride dragons. I freaking hate that guy. Dang, they're tearing the wall up. Are they trying to tear it down? That damn dragon turned into Ronald Reagan. Oh my gosh. So is that ice? That's just some blue fire. I don't know. My guess is it's twice as effective as regular fire. Critical hit. How annoying, man. He's so... Oh my gosh. I hope Torment and Barrett make it. Come on. They can't even be hyped because they're dead. Some of them don't even look that dead either. Like they just died. They're fresh. Mm -hmm. It's going to hurt to see people we love like that, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I can't do it. I can't do this. It already hurts to see that dragon like that. He needs to get out. He needs to go impregnate Brianna Tark. That's his mission in life. So they can make monsters. Monster babies. Dang. So they're, that's how they're going to get through. <gasps> Dude, y'all are straight crazy. And this army right here has the numbers, right? Oh yeah, all day. That's a hundred thousand easy. Isn't that what Jamie said? I don't Unless know how you could dragon. count, you know, but I know I'd have said two hundred thousand just know. to make Cersei <laughs> put a little motivation under. I'd be like, if you count the giants. And you know, they all think it's checkmate because they're like, oh, islands, they can't swim, they can't swim. But yeah, they got a dragon. I'm thinking, why? I know they moved up a tier when they acquired that thing. Oh no. Well, well, Just, well. Just oh no, y'all. Good lord. Okay, what a great finale, you guys. It w it started off with that meeting. It ended with the army of the dead getting through the wall. But yeah, boy, man. was there a lot in between. Turned out the wall was a little weak over at Eastwatch. Yes. Uh, brand the Builder, I guess. You didn't have a brand, the building instructor, the whatever the heck you call it. You know, the one who inspects the building, building right. inspector. Right. Because apparently easy to tear down over there, guys. It wasn't dragon proof, apparently. So we started this thing out, man. We had all kinds of reunions. I mean, obviously we had Cersei mugging Tyrion. We had Theon mugging Euron. We had, you know, Jon Snow, like he wanted to snatch Cersei up too. So a lot of reunions in the beginning. Cersei was definitely being right. arrogant. My favorite one was the Hound and Brienne, though. I'm just going to point that one out because... Brian pretty much killed him, and then they they talked, they bonded over Arya, which I thought was honestly wholesome. Well, that was good because, and then also it was really good seeing Pod too. Like, oh yeah, Pod and uh, yeah. Tyrion. Yeah, oh, that, that was great. Good. Those reunions were great, man. We really need those, especially this late in the season. Uh, fan service can sometimes be so beautiful, and I think when it's well done like that, you know, it's just perfect in my book. So. Cersei, Cersei is just so arrogant and hard-headed. Them dragons pulled up. She didn't even blink an eye. Her immediate response was to just be a smart ass to Daenerys. And Daenerys obviously has a lot more class than Cersei because yeah. she handled herself a lot better in that situation. But she sure did. I mean, it's easy. She's winning, so it's easy to right. you know have class when you're winning. And ultimately, man, the Hound brought out one of those white things, and that's all she wrote. So. Crazy. And and she did believe it, but it does seem like Cersei only cares about her family. So she was saying, my child's going to rule rest Westeros, whether or not this happens up north or not. Well, they're naive. They think that they can go wait this out. Which is stupid. Right. Yeah, <laughs> because don't... that thing just charged at her face and she still thinks she can wait it out, which is wild. But... Well, in her mind, she was sitting there looking at it from a position of power still. You know, they were in control. They had it tied down. The Hound had it under control. But the reality is, is they don't have a handle on the situation. And I think if Cersei knew that, she would be a lot, she'd be a lot less quick to isolate herself in this situation. But it's also brilliant because the story has done such an amazing job of t showing us that 
if you're in her position, that was extremely complicated. Yeah. Like all the politics that goes into it, all the trust, all the intentions, all the secret motives. It's smart to have a player like Cersei because she always, she could easily just be like, yeah, you're right. I seen the dead. You're right. But it's smart that she's kind of ha- takes on from her dad to know that they could also be trying to play the Game of Thrones with her. So, right. She's well, her dad's not- never dealt with anything. Everything has always been about human nature, and you're not dealing with humans. You're dealing with the complete yeah. opposite. So, she's completely out of her element when it comes to this. That is true. One thing I really thought was crazy was, you know, ultimately she decided no, but then Tyrion took it upon himself to go have a talk with her, which could have cost him his life. Which I thought that was very brave of Tyrion. He but the there. decision was still final. She still was doing that with Euron behind everyone's back. Yeah, but you got to give Tyrion his credit. Yeah, he He's did really, try. He really puts it on the line a couple times for right. sure. So that's just that's just another example of how brave Tyrion can be. So um, what else happened? Well, I think to me the craziest thing that happened was, of course, Peter Baelish. But no, oh, yeah, we're getting there though. All right, yeah, craziest moment in the episode was. Sansa calls in Arya. So I'm sitting there thinking Peter Baelish has finally got to her, gotten to her, man. And she's about to bring charges against Arya for just whatever those charges would be. Right. We all know lots of charges. And ultimately, she flips the script and completely confuses Peter, which was the best way to do it, because Mm -hmm. he is so slick and he's so I do believe that he's intellectually above everyone. Yeah, I do. I do believe he's the smartest character in the room, but. I think catching him off guard and not giving him an opportunity to use his best superpower, which is his intellect and his yeah. you know, forward thinking abilities. And his manipulation too. Yeah, yes. that was just great. And ultimately he just begged for his life. And yeah. It, just, it was it was weird to see him in that position, but so satisfying. He went out kind of weaselly, just like you would think he would. Right, because he's a weasel. We knew from season one he's a weasel, but he was honestly way smarter than I than I thought. And he was actually a great character, so Although it was good to see him go, the way he went out was absolutely perfect. I think I've never seen such a good way for someone to go out. Very selfish character because it, they said it best. That's what you do. You weasel your way into people's lives and then you put them against each other, just like you did to my mom and my aunt, right? And Peter, he came from nothing and he could have had so much. He could have just lived a happy life, but his ambitions were just too high and ultimately he got caught. Yeah, just coming from nothing and being on the council itself is a big deal. Uh, bro, he could have just stayed in the veil. He could have right. been chilling. He could have been Lord of the Veil. He or he could have just been like Master of Coin leading his brothels and been good. He didn't have anything. You I know. know. Like, man, the he man just was kept very... on. Chaos was evidently a ladder for him. <laughs> right. He had really big ambitions. So I guess maybe he just wanted to give a big F you to everyone, you know. And another thing that happened was, sorry guys, I really don't want to miss any important moments. Yeah, Theon. So Theon decided that, you know, he was going to have a little talk with John. John handled himself with a lot of class, like you would expect John mm-hmm. to. And he basically says something that really stuck with me. I really like the way John worded it. He says, it's not really my place to forgive you for everything, but what I can forgive you for, I do. So that's a really good way to try to rationalize the way I feel about Theon, mm-hmm. you know? A lot of these characters really, man, is, you know, a lot of them have done so many things that are hard to rationalize why you still root for them. But I guess in a way, like you can only forgive what you can and everything else. You just leave it up to powers greater than us. So, right. In that moment, I just wanted to point out and there's a few moments in this show, in this particular episode that we just had like reflections of Ned. And in that moment, I've just felt like Ned shining very strongly in John's character, which was crazy because we found out that. John's not a bastard in the end. John's actually Rhaegar and Lyanna's actual kid. So it's crazy to see Ned come out in him so much because Ned's not actually his dad, which he thought the whole time that it was. I never really, yeah, even when I figured out all that, I didn't really still think of John as a bastard. In my mind, I just thought John Targaryen. But one thing I will point out also is, dang, what was I going to say? It was really important. Oh, yeah, John, you was talking about Ned. So John had a decision to make. He could say, go oh, right, yeah. sissy. I'll pledge allegiance to you, Sussie. Thank you very much. And he could have went on about his merry day, but he's just still filled with so much. It's like he's basically not a free folk anymore. It's all about that honor and mm. tradition. So he sort of reverted in that way. Mm. He could have just lied in this. Yeah, I feel like lied. he started that when he came back to life. When he was reborn, he started being honorable again because right before that, he was like, you know, letting the wildlings come in, do this, do that. But I know it was for a good reason, but. You know, Ned might have not done that. He was always being honorable in my mind. I can't really think of a time he was doing anything well, selfishly. If you but. were looking on the outside, all the things he did in the Night's Watch to defy them was unhonorable. Well, it's kind of like Alfie Allen said, 
he was just or theon said he was in a lot of impossible situations and maybe john was that way too he just found himself he found himself in a lot of situations where they needed some good men to fight but he was looking around he realized i'm sort of the guy for it but i'm Mm -hmm. stuck here so in his mind he was trying to think what's more important your honor and your oath or you know looking out in the landscape and actually seeing what needs to be done so interesting battle john's always fought right but that's like with every character in this show like do i keep my oath do i not like and and i think when they killed him that's when he answered that question finally mm -hmm. he said you know what actually i think what is the most important is to just escape this place and go fulfill my destiny in a sense so um insane so theon goes back walks up finds the biggest dude with the loudest mouth obviously gets beat up makes that great (laughs) comeback one of the great fights of all time and theon gains his respect man you know they worship they don't worship they don't respect the weak theon proved his worth and they need to go get a sister man there's a sister in need of rescuing and i believe in theon i'm hoping that he gets that done and apparently euron was supposed to flee like a coward but you guys were telling us in the books this guy was a straight menace so that kind of didn't make sense to me i was kind of shocked to see that but it turns out he actually he went plan, to go. Yeah. yeah, he he went to go get the what was second it called? Sons. The Golden Company. Was it? Was it? It's not the Second Sons. It was the Golden Company. I think the Golden Company, the army. Oh yeah, well, right. one of the two. The, yeah. they're, they're sell swords of the sort in Essos. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But yeah, that was that was crazy because that means Theon's new mission is to find Yara wherever she may be. Right, and then Jamie goes and he wants to have a little talk with Cersei, and Cersei basically said something that really stuck out in my mind. She basically painted this picture. I don't remember exactly what she said, but she kind of told Jamie, I love you, Jamie. You're great and all that. But at the end of the day, I love my kids, not you. Mm. I think Jamie read between the lines and understood that. I don't think he's willing to march to his death with Cersei. You know, especially, I don't think Jamie wants to betray every human being in the history of the world just for Cersei. The same way Cersei would be willing to do that. Yeah. So they're definitely operating from two different moral planes. And Jamie, I guess, decided to leave. And as he was leaving, one of my favorite shots of this entire season, guys, it really cemented how far we've come, and it just meant a lot in that way. But I saw snow in King's Landing. Yeah, which snow is, crazy. is falling, and almost we've like seen it in so many prophecies in these in this season. And you said you thought it was ash. Yeah, I thought it was ash a lot, you guys. Right. I, I wasn't sure because I felt like maybe she was gonna have to take the Seven Kingdoms by fire. I, I wasn't sure. Right, and maybe the Seven Kingdoms will get destroyed by the army of the dead, and somebody will just come in and checkmate. Yeah. Uh, another thing that happened, man, was John and Daenerys decided to go close the door and get under the sheets, get a little nasty, get a little freaky, get a little freaky, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so I don't really know how I feel which about was, that because they're like, which is crazy members. because like in the beginning we're like Ugh, incest, and then they like let it like just continue on for seasons, try to make it like normalized for us. They to- definitely normalize incest, <laughs> but maybe I'm just an old fashioned type of dude. But you can. You can show me incest all day, brother. I just don't think I'm ever going to not wince a little bit when I see it. But right. that's just me. Right. But the thing about their incest is they don't know about it, which is like, that which sucks. Is, you know, like, because when someone tells them, they're gonna be like, man, I just, I just banged my aunt yesterday. What the heck? Like, <laughs> John's going to be like, excuse me. Someone dang. should have told me I'm a loyal man, but dang. Mm, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much of that honor and all that really matters when it comes to like, screwing your aunt but we'll find out yeah but when you're targaryens we've learned that you know it's, I get, it's just it's a, a tuesday for a targaryen like you know? i understand it's supposed to be like dramatic and beautiful and all that like like i understand that but you know i ain't even gonna get into all that but you guys know what i'm saying man it's just a little awkward yeah if you're if you're part of my family tree i mean this is planet toast this isn't you know Earth, so, <laughs> right you know. which we have to you know for the for the viewing purposes we have to like you know let that kind of yeah, I'm sure you guys would get really annoyed if we constantly brought that up. That was a little cringe. But the cool, oh, that was absolutely insane that the jack of all trades, Night King, freaking MVP man was riding the dragon. Like, we didn't know he could do that. We didn't even know he could throw spears like that, but he sure can. Yeah. He's going to be a hard one to defeat, y'all. Yeah, basically, the Night King pulled up with his big megaphone and said, Tear down that wall. <laughs> and then they tore down the wall, man. And. You know, we've been celebrating Ronald Reagan ever since for it. <laughs> the Berlin Wall is down. And, you know, I guess. I guess, I guess we march forward. I guess the Army of the Dead represents the good guys in this situation. And who knows, man. But they, they got through the wall, which is crazy. Because I was sitting there trying to figure out how they were going to get through the wall. I never really. Right. Because and a lot of people have, like, hung their beliefs on 
the wall's been there. Like, uh, who cares if there's someone marching? The wall will be there. The wall's standing for thousands of years. Right. But then Daenerys and her big old britches want to come over here with a dragon and mess it all up for everybody. <laughs> and, you know, I get she's got her own goals. But, geez, bro, did you have to lose a dragon north of the wall? Right. It's That's, to me, why I feel like the Night King was so, like, kind of calculated. Because... The dragon was there, and he could have killed Daenerys easy, but he kills the dragon. So, this man's smart. I'm telling you, this man's a military man. I don't know, man. Crazy episode. Uh, apparently, the orange kind of fire just don't cut it, but if you got that blue kind, baby, we can take down walls all day. So, um, man, there's trouble all the way from freaking Westeros to Eastwatch. Essos... Who knows what's going on? I guess Esso just doesn't have to worry about it. The Army of the Dead just never gets to reach no, Esso. They, so. No, they're about to they're about to come over with um, re- being recruited by Cersei. <laughs> do they get Do they get a winner, or do we just not know all that yet? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon. Obviously. Hey, I don't want to put you on the spot, but before we leave, what's your favorite season so far? Since we this is a finale. And who's your favorite character? I think I've who's done your ex- number one character. I've right explained now? this. I don't have a favorite season. I have favorite moments. I think some moments have been extremely epic compared to other ones. Other moments have been extremely emotional compared to others. Sometimes moments are moments that you guys probably wouldn't even notice, but when I see it, it just raises something in me that just makes me feel really nostalgic. That kind of like the scene when Jamie walks out and gets that snowflake. It just reminds me of a time in my personal life. It made me think of like when no one was excited for the snow and stuff and the snow because that's you know that's what tv shows do so moments like that are really cool so it's hard to say in terms of characters dude it's impossible babe i don't freaking know i i like so many i like so many characters i will say this i'll put it this way i like the characters in this show significantly more than some of the characters in some of my favorite shows of all time so it's really hard to choose because I like everyone, man. I like the Hound. I like. I feel like they're Arya. all just so I like iconic. John. I like Daenerys. I like. They're so iconic to me. I, I even like the Cerseys and the Jamies. I yeah. mean, I like. I like everyone. As a whole, they all come together and they make such a dang great show. It's I know so, my so, least so, favorite character, but ugh. I don't know my favorite. I mean, my least favorite character is probably Euron, but it's not because I, I don't think that the character acting isn't doing a phenomenal job. I think the young man's absolutely killing it. I just think. In terms of like, who do I like? Jokes, so yeah. Maybe Kyburn. Like, I don't really like Kyburn. You know, I kind of like Kyburn. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. I like everybody. But yeah. if I had to choose my least favorite, maybe Kyburn because he doesn't get as much screen time. You yeah, know, he's yeah. always just a mouthpiece for Cersei in a sense. Yeah, because but, like some moments, I'll be like, so, uh, "There's even a day where I remember we were done filming, and I was like, I think Varys is my favorite character. Like, I just have all these like favorites because they're so interesting. But the thing about Varys that I need to know is where the heck is that sorcerer? Like, where did he go? What happened to that? Oh yeah, that is true. Absolutely. Yeah, like I just thought about like side note. I mean, there's probably a couple little plot holes and stuff that didn't, you know, get ran out all the way to their potential. And we don't mention those, but they're definitely there. We definitely see them. Um, I don't know, babe, who's your favorite character? Well, I mean, like I said, if you ask me on different days of the week, it'll be different. You don't have one that's just it for you i mean I, I like daenerys sometimes i like john sometimes i like Arya sometimes i like Tyrion sometimes i like mm. shoot I, when i saw gray worm at the beginning of this episode i was like dang that's one of my shot favorite gray worm. Char- i was yeah. like it's one of my favorite characters and he doesn't say much but he's just right. awesome yeah so all these characters are great i mean i'm having a great time with this show this show is I will, i'll never forget watching this it sucks because we basically understand that when we get done with this the things that we're gonna watch just aren't gonna live up to this for a long time and we understand that. We're not going to harp on it. We're not going to let you guys constantly be reminded that we understand that. But between me and you, we understand that. All right, guys. We'll see you guys on the next one, man. Well, uh, it's History and Lore Season 7. Yeah, History and Lore. And then Season 8, y'all. And then we're in the House of Dragons. And I'm wondering, guys, when we get in House of Dragons, is there History and Lore? Because if there's more dragons, I'm going to have to know more about these things. So we need to get into that. If that's something we're supposed to do, I don't know. Right. Yeah, definitely going to be checking out that. I know so many people lately have been saying like Squid Games. Uh, what was the other one? Stranger Things. Stranger Things, which uh, I see a lot of that junk at Walmart. Right. And uh, the reason I see that everywhere. and something, guys, I've heard about Stranger Things, but I, I think it looks a little scary for me. But I mean, I'll give it a chance, but it does look scary. I just want to say that. Yeah. Somebody said it was like 70s retro, 70s, 80s, somewhere around in there, which is really cool because I, I love that time period. My favorite type of music and all that cool stuff. It is a cool time period, but Absolutely. if it's scary, you know, I'm going to be scared. So. Right. Uh, so, you know, we're going to put out a poll eventually. But as of right now, we're still just focused on House of Dragons. 
uh, coming up next, finishing this. And we did just check out Daredevil, like on our Marvel run. We're still on a Marvel run. A lot of you guys don't watch the Marvel stuff. Totally cool. Totally get that. But Marvel is just such a big universe. It's one of those things where it was like a big fandom in a way. So we was like, dude, we should check it out because we never have, right? And we do we dove into it, and it's been a year since we've been doing it, basically, and we're still not done. So it's just something that we've been on. We're really enjoying it. We're checking out Daredevil right now. So we're just trying to get through that the same way we're trying to get through this. So we're going to be back. And I feel like and our channel, you guys, has been like a quest for me to become more culturally like aware of things because like we're now that we're bringing up Marvel. Whenever we were at the glasses store the other day, when he broke his glasses, the guy said oh, that his, yeah. the gla the guy said his glasses was made of vibranium. And you know, I would have never known that if I didn't watch the Marvel journey on this channel. So it, I'm picking up more things in culture. <laughs> right? He was like, I was like, yeah, man, I hit them and bop them and slap them and they don't break. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, yeah, they're made out of vibranium. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But a year ago, I'd have been like, uh, uh alrighty. <laughs> I'd have been like, where's the periodic table? Gotta go. I don't know. <laughs> That one exists. <laughs> yeah, but basically, yeah, this channel's definitely getting you cultured up for sure. Right, I'm gonna call Obsidian like Dragon Glass forever. So, all right, guys, thank you so. Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you on the next one.